as we'll take another lap here before we get things underway. And it's been curious, I've seen on the first couple of restarts, the 22 of Kevin Eater started way in the back behind the pack. I'm not sure uh, the reasoning behind that. I don't even see him out here now. But he started back behind the rest of them, so we'll keep an eye on him. Kevin may be waving off this feature and saving his car for the rest of the evening. Looks like the number 16 of Corey Jorgensen just got a little loose, maybe a little touch there in turn number one. Around he went and collected Destin Laura Moore. I count 12 cars left. 12 cars left out of the 18 that started this feature. The first feature of the night. Wokowski trying to hold off Esty, but Esty's got a little extra for him. He'll pass him on turn number three. Jody Belfi really wanting that number two spot and a shot at Kelly as they scream down the front straightaway into turns one and two. What a great battle for the top spot. Esty, Belfi, and Wachowski all right there in the mix with 17 laps remaining here in the modified feature. Daryl, the dominator, Nelson lurking back in the fifth position. You kind of wonder when he's going to make his move. There's a lot of racing left with 16 to go. Your leader, Kelly Esty, way out in front, about four car lengths over the 11 car of Jody Belfi, followed by the 224 of Cody Kowski, the 95 of Rick Reverd, and the 44 of Daryl Nelson. Yeah, Kelly Esty a week ago was the runner-up to, to who else but Daryl Nelson, so Kelly looking for some revenge, and he's got it right now. Out in front of the rest of the back with Nelson back in the fifth spot. I've been watching that 44 car as he's been clicking off laps here, and he just seems to be calculating, taking his time, making his moves. He knows he's got the machine and the skill, and he's picking up positions bit by bit. 13 laps now as they go by. Esty out front, followed by Cody Belfi and Cody Balkowski. One, two, and three. No real battle right now between the first three cars as they're all separated by about five car lengths. Currently, though, the 95 car, Rick Reaver, making up time on the 224, Cody Bukowski. And holding off Daryl Nelson, which is always so impressive there. Nelson in the fifth spot as they go by now with just 11 laps to go. Can Kelly Esty hang on? Kelly Esty's got his car just dialed in. It would be exciting to see him later on in the preliminary for the next feature this evening. And Esty still leads this thing halfway through the modified feature in the first feature of the night. Of course, this is a makeup feature. These guys will be doing double and do tonight, double feature action. And that's okay with Kelly Esty, who's leading it right now. Kelly Esty way out in front. Jody Belfi not giving up. Nine laps to go. Anything could happen. A caution could come out and cinch up the field. And the one and two guys are really out in front of the rest of the field. Balkowski in that third spot, followed by Reaver in the fourth, and Nelson in the fifth. As they go by now with just eight laps remaining. Just seven laps remaining here in this modified feature. Kelly Esty just blowing away the rest of the field. And Jody Belfi having him one heck of a race, too. Those guys have been one and two way out in front of the rest of the pack. Daryl Nelson moved up in position in the fourth spot as he passed Rick Revert on that last lap. Five laps to go, field well spread out. Our eyes are on the current leader with five laps four as they go by, and that's still Kelly Esty. Just keep seeing these big gobs of clay come off these cars and blow apart. Not only does that affect the racing surface itself, 
But when that clay gets wadded up in those cars, it affects how they handle as well. We had a couple of caution flags early on, but nothing sets. These guys are cruising. The main battle on the track for that third position, Cody Wilkowski and Daryl Nelson. Daryl Nelson trying to find his way around the Canadian as they enter turn number three. Battling for that third position with two laps to go. Yeah, Esty way out in front of everybody else. Along with Belfi, those guys have one and two locked in as long as, well, nothing crazy happens like that. A caution flag right on cue, Chad. <laughs> it's going to make things interesting with two laps. Two laps left. I believe Kelly S probably has some choice words <laughs> of the rest of the field. As he, he was kind of in his own gear, his own land there, Chad. That's good news for Jody Belfi and Cody Wachowski and Daryl Nelson. We've seen him make a move in one lap. Well, welcome back to Amsoil Speedway. You're just in time for the final two laps of this modified feature. Two laps to crown a champion here tonight. As Jody Belfi had some car problems, drove most of the race on just three tires and did one heck of a job, but he will not finish this one. Instead, it'll be Kelly Esty on the front. But Wachowski turns around the 11X of Brian Mickinen, who I've been calling Jody Belfi earlier in the evening. It's kind of ridiculous on my part. I went to school with Jody Belfi. The 11X, the red 11X, Brian Mickinen gets punted by Cody Wachowski in turn number three. Hard to see that X. That we do apologize, though, Brian. And we certainly saw you on that as we taken a look on exactly what happened. It looks like Wachowski just kind of got a piece of Mickinen. We might have a replay on that. Looks like the one L uh, of Donnie Loftal as well, uh, getting in on the mix there. He's having a having a tough feature. I'd I'd almost pull the plug if I were him on this. Yeah, he's been on uh, <laughs> in on a couple of the the caution flags. Here's that replay as we go into turn number three. Your leader Kelly Esty entering the turn. And there's the 11X of Brian Mickinen collecting the 1L of Donnie Lofdahl. Hard to tell exactly what happened there. Uh, a tough break, though, for Brian Mickinen. We've confused with Jody Belfi. We do apologize. Like I said, the 11 and the 11X, it's certainly difficult to see from our vantage point. Belfi is out of the race. Uh, he was driving on three wheels throughout. Did a heck of a job just to surviving that. Mickinen has been among the top, as we see Belfi there. Headed to the pit, get his car fixed, and hopefully ready for the prelim in the second feature of the night. Tough break for Jody Belfi. And so Kelly Esty, as we see the leaders go by here on another parade lap. And there's the Donnie Loftal, the one L car there being taken off, and that'll shoot Cody Walkowski, who's really had a good feature. Now he's at the back of the pack, and a tough break for him. Tough break, getting sent to the back for punting <laughs> Mr. Micken in around in turn number three. I don't think there was laps. a lot. I don't think there was a lot Cody could have done in that situation, but it's just one of them racing deals, and now he's paying the price price. And it's so late. From the in back. It's so late in the race, Chad. Just two laps. I mean, not much you can do to make up make up ground there, but certainly have another chance later tonight. For now, let's keep our eyes on Kelly Essie, who's led led this one throughout there in the 37. Daryl Nelson was just starting to make a move before that caution came out. And we do have Brian Mickening as well towards the front of the pack, followed by Nelson there as these guys get bunched up, and we'll go around one more time and then hopefully finish off the first feature of the night, the Modifieds, here at Amzo Speedway. <laughs> we also have Al Uten in there in the top pack, as this pack's been really whittled down throughout the laps. Four or five caution flags, and quite a few cars taken off on hooks here tonight. A few on hooks, I think a few by uh, driver choice. 
as they got that long night ahead of them. Better to save their machines. There's Rick Reverd heading off to the pits. And I'm no mathematician, but I count eight cars left out there, Chad. <laughs> We're That's almost down to a prelim. A feature, isn't it? Started off with 20, down to eight. And as we get bunched up here, just two laps, two laps remain to crown our feature winner here in the modified. Who will it be? Wolkowski now in the back, and so Kelly Esty up to him, along with Bryant Mickenin and Daryl Nelson. It's Esty, Nelson, and then Mickenin one, two, and three as they go by. Look how hard Daryl Nelson drives into turn number three, and he makes up some ground on Kelly Esty. We're going to have a battle, and Daryl just threads the needle on the front straight away with some extra speed, shoots out to the number one spot, blows by everybody like they were standing still. Wow, Chad, what a pass. He had so much more speed than the rest of those guys. And guess what? Daryl Nelson. Wow. Taking an advantage of that restart in a big way. Holy cow, what a finish here, folks. Hopefully you caught that race. One of the best finishes we've seen here, Chad. <laughs> a very, very impressive and gutsy move on the front straightaway by Daryl Nelson, and it paid off big time. Yeah, for the second week in a row, Nelson edges out Kelly Esty. Certainly keep an eye on both of those cars uh, in the second feature of the night, because i got to think Esty's got some blood out <laughs> for Nelson at this point. Esty-Nelson rivalry. What a finish on that one. Finishing the third spot is Brian Mickinen, one, two, and three, as we finally finish. And they say good things come to those who wait, and that was certainly the case in the first feature of the night.